everyone. Welcome to Rep Greg and Lovers. Just want to do a little run over this little bad boy. Um, this is probably one of the cheapest pistols on the market. Crossman C11. Um, I'm not going to quote the FPs. It is towards 400. Um, it's actually quite a fucking beast. Yes, it only has a little stick mag. I've got 20 BBs in that. Uh, that is cheap as chips. Literally, I'm not even going to quote it again. I forget, but they are among the cheapest magazines you can buy on the market. Um, this is just a basic pistol. Got your mag release there. Nice and simple. Doesn't exactly help when you're left handed. I tend to push that a little bit. Uh, get your little manual safety. Nice and simple. Push down, release, and it moves. Um, excuse me, some film in my hand. Slide the little backing plate off. CO2 drops in one side. Literally just tighten it up with that little tool that's always there. So, in itself, it's just a cool little thing. Uh, this is something I bought a long time ago and all, and it broke. Um, I took it to pieces and it never went back together. Brought another one from Pell Packs and it was absolute trash. It was literally plastic weren't even joining up together. It probably sat, slid right back. It was all poking out. I sent it back on the agreement that I'd get a full refund and they uh, tried mugging me off. That's why I always avoid Pell Packs guys because they literally suck assholes. But for the amount of money this thing is, I'm telling you, it's worth it. I said, excuse me because. I'll try doing it if you're looking for the camera. Right, so in the last couple of days, or weeks, I've been shooting at that face mask. Now, this is the first one to go through it. I don't know if you could just see on the left hand of what you're seeing that has gone through the eye. So it's gone through the mesh. Now, while I was sitting here shooting it earlier, it's knocked over every one of them targets pretty much first shot. Some of them needed a couple. Um, obviously, the downside with using these metal ones, they've got magnets. So if the BBs get stuck on a magnet, they will not stay down, which is a problem. But look at this little bad boy. Excuse me, I'm probably going to miss everything. Oh, I'm going in properly. Zombie ones are harder to knock down because the shape of them. It's got ducks. It sparks. Oh, this is how I stand them up. There you go. Ah, one stayed down. I think we just missed half of that. That's the trouble when I'm not looking for the camera, guys. But look, literally, I knocked all them down and stood them back up straight away. Um, one didn't stand up for some reason. The zombie ones. But you're seeing them go. They're literally going all the way down. I reckon they've got baby stuck behind them now. But the point is, this is just a powerful little pistol. Got a bit last round. Yeah. Weird, I know that was last round. Um, yeah, just a cool, cheap little pistol, man. Can't really fault it. Better off you get it in person, though, guys, unless you've got a good deal up with your RDF that aren't charging you. It's a fucking con. I only, I only get things in person. Or unless they send it straight to your house, it tends to be why I deal with DAI. Um, unless my local shop's got it, which is very, very, very rare they actually have anything. They're not really bothering with the air guns anymore. Um, guys, check them out. They're freaking so good for what they are. Um, it's also what I put inside the, let's just say the SA80. It was nice and simple. There's no moving parts to worry about. Uh, the magazine 
uh, sorry, CO2 particles, you just cut another one of these down to fit it. Uh, I think they used one off this rather than this is the original because the original actually fit the on the bell. Better graphics on it, oh, it's not as much as this on the new ones, so it probably won't look quite like that. Um, they do actually do these in pink and blue and all, not the same in one color one pink, one blue. Uh, I believe that's called a wildcat, probably more for the American market. But yeah, if you want to get your kids into it, um. I don't, know if, I don't know if that's a good one for a kid. He's got too much FPS, but uh, very basic, very very good weight for what it is. It, it's light, but yeah, nice and simple to use. Um, probably do a bit of white on the sides, just so you can zone it in a little bit better. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Uh, please hit that like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Helps us massively. See you soon.